Hey. Today we're doing a Legends of Zelda boss tier list. 3D games only. Uh, there are quite a few. And I try to put them in, you know, quote unquote, chronological order. The order in which you fight them, if you play all the games in order, not of timeline, but of release. But, um, I got some things wrong, I think, but it's, it's okay, you know, we're chill. Alright, so here we have the first boss of the first 3D Zelda game. Uh, I don't remember her name. It's a, it's a giant bug monster with a big eye. It's like Gerga Mergen. I don't know. She's in, like, a bunch of games. Uh, I think this boss is somewhat good. It's kind of boring, but it's a good starter boss. Pretty easy. Very creepy and crawly. Here, what I do. There we go. Oh, dang. We have a lot to go through. Here we have King Dodongo. I think he is an average boss because he's boring, honestly. I mean, what more can I say? I think he looks really cool. I'm kind of basing this on music and, you know, ambiance of the boss fight. Uh, how fun it is and, like, the difficulty and stuff, I guess. So everything... Relating to it, design as well. I'm, t I'm looking at you, Tentalis. All right, here we have—I don't remember his name, like King Octorok or something. I don't know. I hate this guy very bad. No offense to him, he looks very sad about it. But I've always found this boss incredibly annoying. When I was a kid and fought him, I just—I wanted to rip my hair out. I—I I was very sad. And you know, same thing with the boss of the dungeon. The big brainy boy. I just find it kind of frustrating. You're just kind of hitting these tendrils that are sparky with a boomerang. I don't like the boomerang. And I don't like tendrils. <laughs> Sometimes. Alright. Somewhat bad. The ghosties. The ghosties are just boring. The, the fights. I don't know. Again, the ambiance is cool. The build up. You're going on the scavenger hunt. You have to like shoot all these paintings but the actual fight is pretty boring here we have phantom ganon the first one i really like phantom ganon i've always liked phantom ganon i think he looks badass this fight in particular is not my favorite i think it's mildly frustrating but i think he just he looks so cool and it's like he's, he's jumping through all the paintings it's very intense. I very much like it. It's a very long boss fight. Pretty challenging in my humble opinion. But uh, I don't know. A lot of times I do not play these with N64 controllers. And playing an N64 game without an N64 controller can be annoying sometimes. Because they are designed for it. Right here we have... Um... Phantom... Link or whatever... Honestly, he's okay. I think he's somewhat good. It's super cool. You walk into this crazy room that looks like an infinite ocean. There's one island, you know. Link pops out, the Shadow Link, and it's super cool. It's kind of hard boss fight, but it, in my opinion, it's kind of boring. And it just goes on forever unless you, like, really do something strange with, like, a hammer. I don't know. But you, you really have to, like glitch it out or do something for it to not last like five years all right here we have morpho i really don't like this boss i think you'll notice the theme that i don't like water bosses i actually am not super biased against water dungeons like everyone is but uh water bosses i kind of consistently hate i think morpho is bad but better than brain boy i mean it's just a an amoeba with some water. It's like that movie, The Abyss. It's like you're playing The Abyss, and that movie is boring. <laughs> no offense. Right, here we have, I don't know, he's like a scarecrow dude. He runs around. I think he's average. Here we have the dragon. I don't remember the dragon's name. I think it's it's like Volva, Volvia. Something. I think it's, isn't it literally Volvia? It's something weird like that. It's a dragon. It's very tiny, though. Very technologically impressive for the time, though, I must say. Pretty cool. Here we have Dead 
Dead Hands or something. I don't know his name. It's like Dead something. I think he's okay. He's cool. He's somewhat good, I think, actually. He looks really cool. Very scary. But it's not a very fun boss fight. They're just kind of these grabby hands. And you hit them, and it's, it's kind of stupid. Here we have Bongo Bongo, a precursor to DK Jungle Beat. Blast Beat. I think he's average, honestly. I don't know. I think it's a cool idea that he's, like, totally invisible. In my opinion, it's kind of annoying that you have to use the lens of truth the whole time. And it's just kind of, like, you're getting there. You're just sitting there getting sucked. I don't know. Not my favorite. Right here we have Zubuzla and Zubuzla. It's like Konami and Capcom. I don't remember their names. It's an okay boss. Um, I'd say there, honestly. Just kind of, you know, shoot arrow at the fire one. Shoot arrow at the ice one. Oh. Here we have Twin Rova. Ooh, woo. <laughs> Hello, nurse. Um, you know, I like the twin of a boss fight, but realistically, it's not super great. I'm gonna put it top of good. I mean, interesting design, but, um, I don't know, it just kind of. It's basically the first phase where it's two old ladies and then they combine. But it's just like, oh, she's using ice shooter with the fire. Oh, she's using fire shooter with the ice. I mean, it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun. But that's definitely one of my more liked temples. I think the ambiance is pretty cool. All right, here we have, oh, dang, we're already to Ganon. Uh, you know, I like Ganon. I think I'll put him at the top of good, maybe. I don't know. You know, it's so climactic, though. Very cool. Very cool indeed. You'll see a lot of Ganon boss fights high up there because I I just love the vibes of the final boss fights in these games. All right here we have Big Boy Ganon. Just Ganon, no dwarf. Full Ganon, no dwarf. I don't know. I think it's a very climactic boss, very intense, very awesome. The music is very cool, very dramatic, very, 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 lots of varies. You know, Zelda's sitting there on the sidelines doing nothing, being lazy. <laughs> and then, yeah, Link's, Link's working at it. You know, Zelda does stuff. She's fine. But it's a very cool boss. It is a little bit, I don't know, not boring, but I'm just kind of standing there waiting for him in my opinion the chances of him hitting you are kind of low unless you're really aggressive he's just so slow he looks very cool though all right here we have Jor's mask we've moved on to a new game this does not have all the bosses all the mini bosses because for some reason in that game there's like a million mini bosses per dungeon very weird, very weird game, just in general. I'm going to be perfectly honest. I liked it, though. It's very cool. I don't know why I'm saying very so much. Ah! I'm getting these habits of saying words over and over and over and over and over. and Again. Anyway, here we have the dragon, dragon foe, I think. It's a lizalfo, Lizal but it breathes fire. I think it's okay. I think average... Right there. Smack dab in the middle of average. 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 And here we have the gecko guy. Gecko. <laughs> gecko riding a turtle. I like this boss. I think it's I think it's somewhat good. Put him put him there. It's you know, kind of repetitive. But it's cool. And I like how it's part of a very weird side quest, if I'm gonna be perfectly honest. Here we have old Old doll, old uh, the tiki man. I think the tiki man is good. I like the tiki man. He's very loud. And didn't they remove it in the 3DS port? 
because they thought it was racist because he's like, Hunga Bunga. <laughs> he sounds like a freaking an elite from Halo because he's like, Wub, wub, wub. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. He's cool, though. Very creepy, in my opinion. When you first walk in there, you only have, like, three hearts or whatever. I mean, you can do a bunch of side quests early on in the game and get a bunch of hearts. But, you know, you you have, on average, most people have, like, three, four, five hearts. I had three, honestly. And he's very scary. He does a lot of damage. He's very big. I don't know. Creepy game, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. All right, here we have this robe. I found him pretty annoying. I think somewhat bad, honestly. I mean, he's cool, but you fight him three or four times. Maybe even more? Four or five? You fight him a lot. I don't know why, but he's easily the boss you fight the most. And I don't think he's the best. All right, here we have Gahot. Goat. I liked this boss a lot. I, I fought this boss so many times. Snowhead was like my favorite area for sure. Just because it, it really felt like you were saving the day. Everyone was freezing to death. And then boom, bada, bang, spring comes. Everyone's happy. People are outside playing. It's great. I very much like it. Very fun boss, I think. Good use of the Goron mechanic. <sighs> Big eyeball boy. I hate this boss. I hate it so much. It was so frustrating. It was like one of the only times I died in that game. It was to this boss. I don't know. It's just so... I got to the end phase and I just was confused. He's, he has all these pink balls that are super annoying and bounce around and are like... Bluck, bluck, bluck. They're really loud. And... It's just annoying honestly and then you like start sliding around and he's just like a sphere but he's just like running around somehow I don't, I don't know I think it's bad Maybe. here we go alright another bad one easily very bad it's kind of cool it's cool looking but it's another gecko and he is in a big ball of slime I just think it is the most boring boss ever. It's intense, but because it's like the penalty is frustration. Honestly, like if you if you get hit by him, you have to watch like this super long, basically cutscene of him beating you up in this jelly, and it's so stupid. It goes on forever. I really don't like it. Not foon, in my opinion. Right, and here we have, I don't even remember his name, the big fish guy. I don't like the big fish guy. I don't know. Um, put him in somewhat bad. I think it's kind of cool, you know, the, the ambiance. And it's kind of creepy because it's like, if you get in the water, he knows where you are. He will find you. It's pretty creepy and he tries to, like, you know, knock you off. I think, I, I don't know, it has a good... It, it's hard is in the right place, but... It's, just, it's so boring. It just goes on and on. Alright, here we have the Akana King. I think he's okay. I don't know. I had some issues. The light aiming, it felt a little glitchy. I think he was okay. I think I'll put him in somewhat good. Somewhat good. Alright, Twin Mold. I really like twin mold except if you run out of magic it is the most boring boss fight ever it's so boring it's so boring and it just takes forever but if you have magic you can either beat him up with the fierce deity or giant it's the only use of the giant's mask and honestly it kind of feels like beetle juice or something i mean you're in this like creepy upside down temple you go through this weird hole in the ground, and then boom, bada bing, you're in some sort of mythical desert. It looks like it goes on forever. And these big worms pop out that are, like, ginormous. I don't know. I think the giant sandworm fights are really cool in the Legends of Zelda games. Because there are quite a few, actually. Um, 
Yeah, one thing that's stupid is actually if you fall, if you get too far away from the center of the map, you fall off and go back to the beginning of the dungeon, which is really stupid. But I really enjoyed this boss. I think really good. All right, Majora. Honestly, I mean, kind of cool. I'm going to put it top of average. You're fighting a giant mask and then all the other masks pop out. I only fought it with the Fierce Deity mask, so maybe I'm not getting the full experience, but it was just kind of, it sat there and, you know, moved around and just shot at it. I don't know, the Majora boss fight just to me felt very, like, you shoot arrows at it, then you move up and whack whack. All right, here I have Majora's Incarnation. I think average as well. Majora's Wrath. Average as well. I think I like Majora's Incarnation better, honestly. I mean, Majora's Wrath looks cool, but... It's not what I would have expected Majora to look like. And it's just... I don't know, kind of boring. And honestly, for such a cool game, it was so climactic. I I would have thought, you know, we you, you would be fighting the moon or something. No, you just kind of fight this mask. <laughs> I mean, it's an evil mask. It's creepy and all, but... You just, you're fighting a mask, you know? Alright, moving on to The Wind Awaker. One of the better games, in my opinion. Kind of low on bosses, though, in comparison to Twilight Princess, which takes up, like, half the freaking thing. Anyway. Alright, this lass, again, this is the same one from Ocarina of Time. Uh, I think she's pretty fun. I'm gonna put her the somewhere in good tier i think they're honestly it's a fun boss fight it's easy but it's very you know scenic all right here we have the big plant thing cool music cool ambiance kind of boring i don't like the boomerang i like the top of somewhat bad personally really cool music though really goes with the the vibe how are we looking 20 minutes in and we're um just getting started here oh dear it's gonna have to be a two-parter right, here i have mr hands well that's really out of order i think maybe i don't know cool boss again i think top of somewhat good he just um uh, it's cool honestly yeah Hand guy. Alright, big fat ghost man. I don't hate this boss as much as other people do. But it does go against the vibe. Because, I mean, you're in the... You're, you're like in hell, basically. You're in this crazy crypt place. It's super spooky, for the Wind Waker, at least. You get to the end. You've been fighting all of these, like, bony zombie guys. You know, blood everywhere, bones everywhere. Get to the end. Chubby ghost. It's just so weird. I don't like Poe's in general, honestly. I find them annoying. Chubby Poe, if we're gonna be, if if we're gonna be real men here, yes. Mm -hmm. I think he's okay. Bottom of average, honestly, maybe. Above Scarecrow, I think so. Right, here we have. I don't remember. Big Mold Man. <laughs> I really like this boss for some reason. It's just so, it's so cool. It's so intense. I like the music a lot. It's so cool. It's really, it's really cool, guys. It's really cool. Alright, bird. I very much like the bird. Music is super epic. This bird's been pissing off Link for the whole game. He's really been up his butt. Kidnapped his sister. Just a real jerk bird. And the boss fight with him is so cool. I think A... I've already done a tier like this. I put him in, like, I think the top of S. I don't know. But super duper fun, honestly. Really fun, in my opinion. I like fighting Big Bird. Alright, here we have Phantom Ganon once more. I like this one more than the Ocarina of Time one. I think there. He looks interesting. He doesn't really look like Ganon at all. 
at, at all. But he's cool. And he reminds me of Hero Forge color palettes. Alright, Puppet Ganon. Pretty cool. Uh, I always forget. I don't know. I always like this boss more when I think about it, but then when I actually fight it, I'm like, you know, this kind of sucks. <laughs> uh, it's okay. It's kind of cool. I think, um... Mm, there. Um... I don't know, it's, it's, it's climactic, but it feels like it needs more to me. Like, it just, it feels like it's over before it began, almost. I mean, it's cool, though. It's cool. The end to Wind Waker always felt very abrupt to me. I think the game needed a couple more <laughs> months of development, honestly, even though it's one of the best ones, in my opinion. I think a couple more dungeons would have been appreciated. I think... Mm hmm It's better than Puppet Cannon. Yeah. Like there, honestly. Alright, we're finally on to Twilight Princess. The mother load of all boss fights. Lots of boss fights in this one. Very long game. Uh, you can't beat it in like 20 hours, but it takes me like 50 hours normally. I actually beat it pretty quickly last time, now that I think about it. Alright, big monkey boy. Big thick dude. Real... Real dump truck. I think he's somewhat good. He's fun, honestly. I think it's a fun boss. <laughs> you get a cool boomerang that you never, ever, ever use. You use it like once at the beginning, once at the end. That's about it. Alright, and then big plant. Big plant's kind of cool. But a little boring. You're just kind of shooting bombs at big plant. I mean, it looks super cool, though. So, I think there. Honestly, I like the monkey boss fight more. <laughs> Alright, this guy. I thought this boss was going to be super fun and cool, but I'm always disappointed. I don't know, it's very frustrating to me. I'm going to put it... I think top of average, maybe? There. I don't know, it's just so... Frustrating, you always have to be in the exact spot that you need to be. Like the perfect spot for things that actually count. And if you fall off, you reset, and it's, just, it's really frustrating. Alright, and here we have like molt, Molten, Moltor, or something like that. Uh, the boss of the second dungeon. He's cool, I think. Super easy boss. Very easy. I think he looks really cool. Cool ambiance. I think bottom of good. Alright, here we have Big Bug Boy. I'm feeling an average from Big Bug Boy. I think there, honestly. I don't know. It's kind of frustrating because it's on the water. But you just kind of attack his, like, I don't know, udders? <laughs> it's weird. And Big Bird. I don't know exactly what this is, because you fight these birds a couple times. I think it's supposed to be the flying thing or something? I don't know. There's a couple weird things on this list. I think average again. Maybe even there. If it's what I'm thinking of, it's pretty frustrating. Alright, here we have, again, I hate water dungeon mini bosses with big things on their back. I think top of bad. I don't know. This boss fight is honestly really easy. Maybe somewhat bad. It's really easy and it's just like... Yeah, I don't know how else to describe it. It's just kind of easy but also frustrating. Like all the little frogs, it feels like they do more damage than he does. Alright, then we have Big Worm. Honestly, really weird boss fight. The first phase is a pain in the ass and sucks and deserves to be an absolute trash. But then the second phase is super cool. You're fighting this big eel. And it takes up, like, the whole arena, which is huge. And it's, it's super crazy. Super awesome and intense. 
but uh, it's over so quickly. Like it's it's very bizarre. The first phase, which is generally easier, takes forever and is very frustrating. And then you have the second phase, which is super quick and cool. So I don't know. That sounds to me like an average. If you ask me, high average though, like there ish I'm feeling all right here we have King what bulb Bulblin, I think the first one the jousting one which is always super cool but it controls really weird that's my only problem with it um I think somewhat good because it, it music is incredible ambiance super cool you're trying to save this kid he has this kid on a pike and he's literally jousting you with this kid who is on the pike, who you're trying to save. And it's super cool. But um, it just controls really weird. And I actually died while fighting him last time, which is frustrating. I believe I've died every time fighting this first one. Uh, but you can't like shoot him and stuff to make him slow down. So I think bottom of good. Honestly. Here we have Death the Sword, I think. Really cool design, cool ambiance again. He's basically, I think he is Shadow, or uh, Phantom Ganon from this game. Unconfirmed, maybe. That was a cool Zelink video. You know, good one right there. Or Zel, what's his name? Zeltek? I don't remember. So many Legends of Zelda YouTubers, so many YouTubers. The world is just crawling with them. But uh, I think he's a pretty phone boss. I think bottom of good. I don't know. It's easy, though. There's so many ways you can beat his, beat his booty. Alright, here we have... Oh, yeah. Stall Lord, baby. Great music. Great ambiance. Super cool boss fight. You're fighting him with Batugan. Very cool. A. I think S. I think this is S. But, <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Later. I'm feeling a lot of Skyward Sword bosses going in top of A. So, we'll, we'll hold out. Alright, here we have Skull Kid from Twilight Princess. And I think he is okay. He's kind of cool, but it just it goes on forever. There, I think. Maybe? Mm, boop. There. Alright, a Dark Nut. I absolutely love the Dark Nut boss fights. It's so intense, I think. A for me, right there. Great music, very awesome. I just, I love fighting these guys. He's just, you walk in, super intimidating dude. Huge suit of armor, huge dude. And just, it feels like, because you learn all of these crazy fighting techniques, you've been mowing through all these weak ass enemies. Especially in that dungeon where you're fighting spiders. And then this huge guy who's super skilled pops out. And it's just like, finally, and a, a worthy opponent. Alright, here we have the arachnid guy. I don't remember his name or her name, whatever. And it's a big spider, and it's a weirdly easy boss fight, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. I don't know, you just kind of sit there and, you know, punch them with the big robot guys. With the big stone guys. They're not robots. They're big stone guys. And, yeah, there's that second phase. But, I don't know, it's super short and easy boss fight. Which is not always a bad thing. I think somewhat good, honestly. Really cool design, in my opinion. What am I doing? There. Why is... Hold on, hold on. I'm playing the reverse card with these two. There we go. Much better. Alright, here we have this guy, Mace Lizard. <laughs> I find this to be a little frustrating, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. It's just not super clear what you're supposed to do. Like, the cage you're in is super tiny and super easy to get hit by him, and he just... He will demolish you if he hits you. And you just got, it's weird. I don't know. It just, it feels awkward to me. It feels very video gamey and just kind of awkward. 
That's all I have to say. I'm putting them an average, honestly. And here we have, what, Frostina or something? Pretty cool boss fight, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. I think there. Very fun boss fight, in my opinion. Cool music. Maybe even there, honestly. Cool music. Cool boss fight. Just fun all around to be had. And yes, pun intended. Alright, here we have the dragon. Lizard man. Flying lizard man. Boring mini boss. Well, that's okay. But you're just fighting an enemy, and he has a helmet. That's the only difference. He has a big helmet. He looks cool. I feel bad for beating him up. He just seems like a nice guy. I think. There. I'd rather fight a regular dragon. Alright, here. Oh my gosh, this guy. His name is like Arm Armagon or something. Oh my gosh, I hate it really don't like this boss fight it's basically a cutscene it just takes so long to fight him like the first time i fought him it took me like 10 minutes because he just he flies around the whole dungeon before he fights you so you're just sitting there waiting and if you missed your shot then you gotta wait for him again it's just kind of weird I don't know, the second phase is a little bit better, but... I don't know, he does look really cool, though. I don't even like the music that much. Uh, I'll put him... There-ish. Honestly, I'm thinking about, like, I I'd rather refight this fish boy than this dragon boy. I think. Alright, here we have Phantom Zant. Kind of a cool boss fight. Pretty easy though. It's basically Riz, Wiz Robe mixed with Phantom Ganon. I think. There, maybe. Here we have Zant. Zant. I really like this boss. I think it's very fun. Good vibes. Good character, I think. One of my favorite characters from, from that arc. Let's see. We got some eBay stuff. Uh, what? What is even that? Home security. No thank you. I think there. Honestly, it's cool. You're warping, you're warping around every other boss arena and he's fighting you. A theme to how that boss would fight, kind of, sort of. And, and, you know, it plays through all those different types of music. It's very cool boss. Very cool. And at the end, he busts out some, like, scimitars and just goes freaking bonkers. And it gets, like... It's a really easy boss. It kind of goes on for a while. And then he just goes ham. He goes like super sane. It's pretty cool. Alright, here we have a really weird picture of King Boblin, I think. I think it's the final one. It's hard to tell. Or when he's at the Arbiter's Grounds. I can't tell. But it's an okay boss. It's pretty easy. You just kind of sit there and poke his... Uh, beer belly. I think there, honestly. It's cool, though. Nice character as well. And here we have the Princess Zelda puppet. Zelda puppet. I think it's, um... There, honestly. I don't know. It's kind of creepy, because Zelda's there. She doesn't have any, like, pupils. And she's making Ganon noises. Like, she's, like, maniacally laughing like a big Gerudo dude. So that's kind of funny. But uh, I don't know. It's an okay boss. Maybe I'll, I'll move her up a little bit, actually. Right there. I'm kind of good about that. Alright. Here we have Dark Beast Ganon, I think. Or no, that's the other big pig Ganon. I don't know. It's when he's a big pig. This one, I don't know like that much it's, you know, you, you're just kind of whacking them interesting music though just kind of a weird boss then you fight him on horseback which I don't even know if this is a fight I've never done this for longer than like 20 seconds like you know there's all these cool phantom ganons running around and super intense all this crazy music Zelda shooting them 
I mean, you can just run up to him and whack him with your sword a bunch, and he's dead in like five seconds. Kind of a weird boss, if I'm going to be perfectly honest. I think it's cool, though. Uh, I think good from me. Alright, then the final boss fight against Ganon. Very cool. He's looking like Darth Vader in this. I'm going to put him there, maybe. I actually kind of like the Dark Nut fight more. But, uh, I don't know. It's really fun. And it's just... He's such an intimidating guy. It's pretty hard to hit him. He does do this, like, bullshit spin attack, which makes absolutely no sense. Where he, like, jumps up. It's like, the whole fight is super cool. Climactic. Kind of realistic to, like, a real sword fight. You know, you're clashing blades. You know, moving around a little bit. Link's being a little jumpy. But then... All of a sudden, like, halfway through, he'll just decide to, like, jump up in the air, jump behind you, and do, like, a freaking Ninjago thing. Like, he literally jumps up, kicks back, whips around, and spins, and then jumps back through it again. It's so freaking weird. I don't know. Alright, on to Skyward Sword. I like this game a lot. It's a good game. I believe this is where I've made the most mistakes in order. This game has a lot of, like, now, I know you're on a good roll fighting all these, you know, bosses in these dungeons, but uh, why don't we fight this big black potato again? And it's just like, okay, sure. Anyway, Girahim, probably my favorite character from Skyward Sword. I don't know, I like the Mize a lot. This is the first appearance with him. A good Christian fight, if you ask me. And good use of motion controls. It can be frustrating sometimes. Like the motion controls, it gets a little glitchy. But basically, he doesn't even. I don't think. Does he use a sword? Yeah, he does. But he tries to basically catch your blade. Or like block it with just his fingertips because he's so confident. And it's pretty cool. And it really. It feels like a good gentleman's sword fight. Good sword fight. There. I really like sword fights and giant flying worm monsters for some reason. What does that say about me? What does that say about me? Alright, next we have the Imprisoned. I think you fight the Imprisoned right after Skyview Temple, I think. You might fight it first. The first one, I think, is pretty okay. I'm going to be honest. I don't hate the Imprisoned as much as everyone else. It's probably the most controversial opinion right here. Everyone absolutely hates this thing. I just think it's kind of weird. I mean, it's like a big fluffy monster. I don't know. I know it's supposed to be like this Mises, like scales because he has like scaly skin. But it just, it ends up looking like a big fluffy potato to me. An avocado. Thanks. I think it's average, honestly. Bottom of average. You just gotta hit those big toes. And here we have a big flaming ball of flaming ballness. He's cool, I guess. He has a bunch of legs and stuff. Again, a boss I don't hate as much as everyone else. I think there, honestly. It's kind of fun, but a little silly looking. You're fighting a boulder. <laughs> the boulder. The boulder does not like bombs. All right. Avatar is a good show. I should watch it again. Season 2 for the win. Alright. Scorpion person thing. I don't remember the gender of the scorpion monster. I really like this monster. Uh, you fight you fight the scorpion a couple times. And I'm pretty good. I don't like how the claws have eyeballs. I think that's stupid and a little too obvious. I wish that was not the case. But uh, looks cool. Great music. Really great music, I think. I think bottom of good. All right, the imprisoned again. I really, whoops. I really don't like this one. I think this is my least favorite variant. Maybe a lot of people say it gets better. I don't know. I just find this one frustrating. It's just like it's basically the same one, but he'll just climb stuff every once in a while. Not my favorite. All right, here we have. These two belong together. I really don't like this boss fight. You're just flying around on the loft wing, hitting big eyes. I feel like this game, I don't know what they were doing, but, uh, you know, it's a hard game. There's some hard puzzles in that game. 
at least in my opinion. <laughs> but all the bosses, it's like it's super easy. It's what you're supposed to do. There's just these giant. There's always a giant freaking eyeball. I don't like it. Always a giant eye. I think they go absolutely bonkers with it. But um, honestly, I think it's somewhat bad. This one's worse. The actual fight on the top of it, on the blowhole. Like, I get Levias, I think is his name, and then that thing is like the Parasite. I don't remember what it's called, but it's okay. You just sit there and hit it with stuff. Alright, this is the best incarnation by far of the Imprisoned. Honestly, I feel like it's right there. It's pretty fun. Grease helps out. Grease is also a good character. Uh, and it's just, you know, good, good fight. You really feel like you're getting a little help from your friends. All right, and then freaking One Piece guy. I actually have a statue. I found a really cheap copy of this statue of this guy from at the flea market. And it's humongous. It's really big. I'm looking at it. And I don't want to say what his sword looks like. It reminds me of it, but it's, it's big. Very big. But I don't know. He looks like, He literally looks like a One Piece character to me. Fun boss fight, though. Pirate captain. I think that's his name, isn't it? Just the pirate captain. I think he belongs in good, honestly. D there. Maybe? There. I'm gonna move Capcom and Konami down a little bit. Because, uh... I don't know, it's just Twin Rova, but... Old. And in two pieces. Tentacles, tent, tentalis. Oh my gosh, tentalis. Design gone wrong, in my opinion. This boss fight could have been so much more. I mean, and they make it seem like you're fighting the freaking kraken. Even the like little bosky looks like the kraken. This could have been like a huge like squid monster, big creepy eye that you have to shoot at. You could have done the eye thing. But no, it it looks like a chubby, like, Jamaican dude or something. I don't know. Like, he's, he has these big man boobs. He just, he looks so fluffy and cute. He has all the these crazy tentacle hair dreadlock things. They look like dreadlocks, honestly. He's like the lady from Monsters, Inc. Ha ha, everyone says that. What's her name, Sylvia or something? I don't know. It's honestly, I think it's a kind of boring boss fight. You're just hitting his tentacles and then shooting him in the eye. Again, one that I think just falls victim to the stupid eye thing. I think he's there, honestly, for me. He just. Uh, he gets on my nerves, actually. There. I don't know. I feel mad. I, like, I feel bad beating him up. Because he just, he, he just looks like a big, fluffy dude. And it's just, like, it, I don't know, like, just, like, hey, you're fat and you have dreadlocks, I'm gonna beat you up. I don't know, it, just, it feels like curb stomping, cur curb stomping a poor defenseless chubby guy. And I just feel bad about it. Alright, here you have Stalfos, I think, the forearmed one, which I think looks super cool. He looks like Samukai from Ninjago. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Why is Ninjago popping up so much? I really like this boss. I like sword fights. I'm a sword fight enjoyer. Really good. Bottom of really good. Right, here we have Girahim again. Uh, this time he has arms that are made out of metal. He's pretty cool. He's a little more pissy this time around. But I actually like, I think, the first one better. Alright, and then here we have the pirate captain... Totally not again. It's just the pirate captain again, but harder. I think I actually like the original one better because this one is just the same, but he has like 20 freaking swords. It just kind of goes on for a while. Here we have... Uh, I just totally forgot the name. Oh my gosh. I... It's like one of the best boss fights ever, honestly. Oh my gosh. 
Oh my gosh, what is this freaking character's name? Top, top it up, top it up, tip it up, hop it up. <laughs> I don't remember. Oh my gosh, but one of the funnest boss fights ever, honestly. In Legends of Zelda game, super cool. It looks like you're beating up an evil Buddha or possessed Buddha monster robot thing. He has big swords, and uh, he breaks stuff. It's cool. He does a lot of damage. You pull him apart. It feels good. There's no big eyeball. I mean, there's a big heart. All around, cool boss, good ambiance. Just great, great boss altogether. All right, and this is a weird one in my opinion. Uh, the floor from the final arena kind of a weird one to include but i think it's pretty fun honestly you're just plowing through like 50 of the game's like hardest goblin guys or bacoblin bacoblin dudes and it's so fun it's really cool it makes you feel like a badass honestly you just feel so badass doing this all right that was what a tier all right, here I have the final gear heme. Probably the best. Um, it's a lot different from the other ones. Because before he could hit him, but now he's like invincible. I'm going to move some of these around a little bit. Like that. Um, but it's very fun. And it makes it's good use of the motion controls. And he has, you know, his big claymore at the end that you have to break apart. He's kind of going crazy at the end, and you have to like knock him off of the platform because he's invincible. And then he like falls down to the next platform, and you like stab him in the chest because he has a little weak point. It's really cool. It's really really cool. All right, demise. Whoops. <laughs> not Demise, not Demise. There we go. Probably my favorite final boss fight in any Legends of Zelda game. It's so freaking awesome. It's so cool. I think there... It can get frustrating, though. It goes on for quite a long time. Because it is tough. It is a very tough boss fight. It will test your skill. Because he just goes absolutely ham I mean he's this big hulking dude with this crazy like evil master sword and he just goes around just whacking you he blocks almost every hit you really have to get creative with your fighting you really have to be smart about things and every hit he does does like tons of damage tons and tons of damage I actually died to him one of the only boss, final boss fights I've died to in a Legends of Zelda game because I was just not expecting him to just mow through you. Like, most of the other Ganon ones, you know, they give you lots of time to prepare. They're kind of slow. And a lot of them are just for show. But this one is just like, he beats the pulp out of you. You really have to earn that victory. And then he shoots lightning at you, and you're shooting lightning back. It's really cool. And you're also in a weird, like, ocean dimension thing. You're in, like, another... He opens up the gateway to another dimension, like Limbo, I think. And you have to fight him in Limbo. It's so cool. And the music is just... Mwah, chef's kiss. Chef's kiss, in my opinion. Alright, moving on to the final thing. That's a good thing, because I'm almost out of uh, time here. So here we have... Uh, the new one, Breath of the Wild. All right, so we have Chubby Ninja Boy, <laughs> Master Koga, I think. It's an okay boss. I was honestly pretty disappointed when fighting him. It's just kind of meh. I think there. And he just throws big balls at you, and then you have to hit him with the big balls, and then he's never seen again. He just dies. No mention of him. You throw him down a pit, he gives you the orb or whatever the heck you're looking for and then that's it you never see him ever again all right water blight ganon it's an okay boss but uh, if you run out of material it can be quite frustrating if you run out of like arrows 
So I think somewhat good, honestly. It's very easy, though. Wind Blight. Potentially my favorite Blight Ganon. Um, I think there-ish, honestly. He just kind of shoots lasers at you. But he doesn't look super great. I actually do have a really sick picture of Wind Blight Ganon. A big puzzle that took me, like, years to put together. Because I lost a bunch of the pieces. Because I got it in another state. It's very cool. Very cool. I got it from Bookman's in Arizona, which is a very awesome place. And, oh, it looks like it's collapsed a little bit. That's weird. It, like, fell down. I think, like, a layer of pieces got bent or something. Tons of pieces. Very small. All right, Lightning Blight. Probably the hardest one. Uh, I think a lot of people do it last. I did it third. Very difficult boss fight, in my opinion. But mildly frustrating. I really don't like his second phase where he, like, teleports around and you have to electrocute him with, like, all the lightning rods and you have to, like, move the lightning rods around. I think there. -ish. All the blades are kind of meh, in my opinion. Here we have Fire Blight. Probably the easiest, honestly. I think he's on par. Like he's he's next. He's in my opinion basically as good as Water Blight Ganon. I'll put him there. But they're very similar and he looks very similar to uh Wind Blight Ganon in my opinion. Alright, here we have Calamity Ganon. I very much like this boss. And I'm sure you're thinking, Eon Kun. It's just like the Blight Ganon fights. And to you, I say, yes, but it's better because it, it is. I think it's really good there. No? Boop. There. It's pretty fun. Alright. Dark Beast Ganon. Super cool looking, super climactic. Boring. Uh, as people have said, it's more like a cutscene that you play. There. There. Alright. Master Mesa or something. Probably one of the funnest boss fights. Just freaking ever. S tier for me. I think there. Maybe. That might be a little bit low, but... He is very fun to me. Very, very cool, very challenging, very interesting music. Uh, kind of a banger. And, uh, I don't know, it's weird. It's like traditional. And it almost sounds, it sounds more almost Chinese to me than Japanese. Which, you know, I hate comparing the two. I know they hate being compared. But, um, I don't know. It sounds almost Chinese, and then it has, like, techno, like, really hardcore, like, dubstep mixed in it's so weird but a cool boss fight theme i've not heard it in a while uh, but a fun boss it goes on for freaking ever very difficult very very difficult and i don't know how i did it so easily on my first try <laughs> with like five hearts i don't know what i did somehow i like magically won but uh, i tried it again and it was like freaking difficult like, dang very difficult boss all right that's my list you can see a lot of it is based on music and ambiance kind of weird but you know you know that's not all true actually a lot of the s tier ones are based on actual funness and i think good use of mechanics i think that's a big issue because i feel like there's a lot of obligation to you know use the dungeon's item and I feel like a lot of them fall short of that. And, you know, honestly, I feel like all the bosses are not absolute trash. I don't think any of them are. Because, uh, you know, I never like to put things in the very, very, very bottom, even though this guy sucks. Uh, you know, they're all good, and they're all... Most of them are a part of really great games. So I feel like they're not all trash. and They all at least had some thought... And I think most of them have some sort of upside, some cool design or lore or something. I mean, this gecko guy is part of a band. 
And if you kill him, you can get him to join your band. If you knock him out or whatever. Pretty cool. He's like possessed or something. And a lot of ones an average, but uh, I guess that's be to be expected. I've had a lot of Legends of Zelda boss fights either like annoying as hell, like really annoying, really good, or boring. <laughs> There's a solid, like, boring section, somewhat bad. All these bosses I just find kind of boring and repetitive. And almost all of them are water bosses, which is interesting. And all the fire bosses, are, a lot of them are in average. I don't know, average is just kind of like, you know, they're average. Somewhat good. You see a lot of weird stuff in here. A lot of mixed up stuff. I don't know, I, I think a lot of the bosses... I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. These are just mildly fun bosses. That have good ambiance. A lot of them. Good ones. Not too many good ones. I feel like a lot of these are based on character design. Just kind of how fun they were and not like anything super constructive. I don't know. I definitely feel good about A tier there. Or A plus tier. A lot of these are sword fights, which is interesting. And then A plus plus. All sword fights. I think this says a lot. And then S, you got big monsters and sword fights. <laughs> I just, I like big monsters or sword fights. What can I say? I mean, that's what most of the bosses are. Anyway, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. It was an hour long. Very impressive, I know. And uh, see you around. Peace out.